Yeah, you won't, you won't learn how to put one to sleep. How do you put a chicken to sleep? First you pump it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing in the world that I like better than bacon and lettuce and homegrown tomatoes up in the morning. Out in the garden, Lord, get you a ripe one, don't get a heart. Hi, I'm Turk Pipkin, and I am in Kentucky with a wonderful organization that's helping people feed themselves and feed their communities. Welcome to Grow Appalachia. It's homegrown tomatoes, homegrown tomatoes. What would life be without homegrown tomatoes? The only two things that money can't buy. And that's true love and homegrown tomatoes. I ended up in Appalachia by looking, what could I do on a large scale for the United States? And a fellow that worked for me came from the haulers of Appalachia and said, they really need some help, let's check it out. So for about a year, I checked it out, found out it was a real thing, and by gosh, I'm gonna help Americans help themselves hopefully will affect about 75,000 families and they could help us along the way affect one another. Most of the families who are gardening here had never gardened before, which is a very strong target group for Grow Appalachians to bring these skills and, and these resources to families that, that otherwise may never have been able to do this. We don't have in our community a major grocery store, so it's um, difficult for us to access um, real fresh produce. So we really have a shortage of those good fresh fruits and vegetables. It has meant so much to our community. This is actually my first gardening experience, so it's been really, really cool and exciting for me. My wife and I canned 21 quarts of green beans for the first time ever. We'd never canned anything in our life. Best green beans we ever ate because we grew them ourselves. We're staying true to the basic purpose of Grow Appalachia, which is to help as many families grow as much of their own food as possible. We've decided to incorporate this farm programming into our shelter program. We try to do support groups in the garden and with preparing our food from the garden. And so we try to involve clients, which are families and women as much as possible. Everybody here is learning, and, and it's, it's a wonderful experience. This area has African Americans, Hispanics, white, and there are people from Taiwan and, and India and Swedish. So this little lot here represents a, a big diversity. John Paul's really passionate about the idea of giving people the tools to solve their own problems. So that's why we're, we've chosen to focus on gardening. The philosophy of Grow Appalachia is you give them a seed and they, they bloom where they're planted. And we see it in front of our eyes and that's why it's so important to actually go there and be a part of it ourselves. Whether you're in East Africa or Eastern Kentucky, Growing your own food is a simple act that has lasting impact. Besides eating healthy food, there's a camaraderie. Now communities are getting together in their own gardens, and here you have people turning other people onto it, wanting nothing in return but for a good way of life and their neighbors to have a good way of life. And that's pretty special. Bye-bye. Mm -mm. Bend her head up and under her wing. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And you lower it under wing. Okay. Then just put it around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> really? There you go. Are you sure you didn't kill her? No, she's asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs>